This is my favorite watch. It's the one I wear every day. A cheap, simple, mass-produced digital watch from China, which sounds odd. What on earth stands out about this one? Hey guys, I'm Ben Arthur, this is Ben's Watch Club, and here is my review of the Casio A158W. The A158W is essentially the metallic brother to the legendary F91W, one of the most popular watches in the world. I previously reviewed that watch, which you can find a link to in the iCard above, and there will obviously be many similarities to that review. This version is another low-cost bargain from Casio, which has been around for many years, and may, in fact, be the preferable choice for a lot of people. As with other great value Casio watches, this comes in at an astonishingly low price. Now, despite being internally identical to the F91, the A158W does cost slightly more, likely due to the addition of a stainless steel bracelet. Normally, you can expect to pay around 15 to 20 pounds in the UK for the regular metallic version. As with the F91, this really places it in a price range that's accessible to all. Here's a brief look at the specifications. You've got a diameter of 34 millimeters, a depth of 8.5 with a lug to lug of 38 millimeters. It has a weight of around 45 grams, mainly due to the stainless steel bracelet. The case material is resin, and this watch has a water resistance of 30 meters. Inside, you'll find a Casio Digital 593 movement. For that low price, you can normally expect a warranty of around two years. Unlike its black resin strap counterpart, I think the A158W has some aesthetic appeal. Despite this watch being released in the 90s, its design language and colorway still shouts 80s to me, the design being very similar to even earlier Casio models. This timepiece comfortably adds a touch of retro to any outfit and is truly an absolute treat to wear as a daily driver. The rectangular case is made of reflective silver resin, with three stainless steel pushers placed on the small case bulges. When holding the watch, you can tell straight away that the case isn't metal, mainly due to the lack of weight. This does, however, make the watch comfortable and almost impalpable on the wrist. During long periods of wear, you can almost forget this thing is there. As with all Casio digital watches, functionality is great. The pushes work well and allow you to intuitively cycle between the various functions and modes that the watch offers. The case back is stainless steel secured by four tiny screws with some manufacturing information that's also stamped into the center. As with the F91W, there are plenty of stories of people going as far as diving in their watches. However, as this watch has a stated water resistance of just 30 meters, it's not something I personally recommend. Inside this watch is a basic Casio quartz movement which, while simple and cheap, has a great reputation for durability. The battery seemingly lasts forever, and when it does eventually die, you can just replace the whole watch if you want to due to the low price. The display is a crisp LCD screen which performs exactly as you would expect. The time is perfectly viewable from loads of angles and can still be read when under direct sunlight. I managed to get in really close with my camera and it still looks sharp. You'll notice that although the general shape from the F91 has been retained, there are some slight differences, mainly in the text department. Upon closer inspection, you'll see the water resistance, mode and alarm text have all been shuffled around a bit. Though at a glance, the watch basically looks the same. Given the fact that this version has a silver colored case, I think it also makes the colors seem more vibrant against that black background. The Casio A158W also inherits the infamous backlight as well, although it does technically work and can help you to read the time in pitch black conditions, it's remarkably weak. If this is of importance to you, it may be worth considering the newer, albeit slightly larger Casio A168W instead, which has much improved luminescence. Additionally, the A158 features the counterfeit check function. Holding down the right button for a few seconds should display the word Casio on a genuine model. Pretty cool and useful. The stainless steel bracelet is great at this price point. As expected, this does just comprise of folded links, however, is fully adjustable and lightweight, making it surprisingly comfortable. I have heard many people call this bracelet a hair ripper. However, from my experience with this watch, I haven't really had any such issues. One thing to note is that due to material variance between the bracelet and case, the metallic brushing doesn't quite match up. 
The main case has a high shine reflective coating, while the bracelet has more of a brushed finish. When you get up close, you can notice it, but from medium distance, it's not really a factor you can't see. So that's a brief overview of this watch. Now, what are the pros and cons? What do I like about this watch? And what do I think isn't so good? Let's get the negatives out of the way. The first one is the terrible backlight. As with the F91, this seems to be a feature that's been left in the 90s. It's pretty terrible, although it's definitely not a deal breaker. Also, for someone with OCD, those metallic differences are gonna be quite annoying. One way around this may be to switch out the strap for something else, which is doable with this model. And of course, you've got the fact that because this is such a cheap watch, it's got very basic specifications. There's definitely no luxury materials here. The glass on this, for instance, it's not even glass, it's just acrylic. However, what are the positives? The first has to be the price. You can replace these so easily, it's unbelievable how low cost these Casio watches are. Considering that these are both cheap up front and will probably last you a while, I'd love to see the cost per day per usage. It must be so low. One especially for this model has to be the stylish retro aesthetic. Now I'm not saying that this is the most beautiful watch in the world, because it certainly isn't. But something about this one, the colors, it just looks funky. It's got that late 80s, early 90s vibe about it. And I can easily see hipsters loving this thing. I know I do, it works with my colors and my style. And I think it's so simple and so well known, it kind of looks cool. Size wise as well, it's one of the things I love about this watch. It's nice and slim, it's quite small. You don't really have to question whether this will fit on your wrist because it probably will. And it's one of the reasons why I prefer these models in comparison to most G-Shock watches. While the build quality isn't as good, they are a lot nicer to wear because they're not massive and chunky and they'll slip under sleeves. Even with the divisive bracelet as well, it's a very comfortable watch to wear. If you're looking for something to just wear to work, for instance, even if you've got quite a hands-on job, this could definitely be the one to go for. If you still want to add a tiny bit of style to whatever you're wearing, it's great for that. And it doesn't matter if you get a few bumps and scrapes. These kind of watches, they're almost designed to be beaten up a little bit. And while it looks in good condition now, in a few months, it probably won't. And that's okay, that's what these watches are made to do. The more marks, the more character, I say. And if you manage to destroy it with a hammer, you can just buy another one. But they are surprisingly durable, partly because of the size, they get out of the way of a lot of bangs that other watches might hit. So overall, as you can probably tell, I love this watch. It's super simple, very basic, but really cool. And this review has covered all aspects of the watch, but question is, should you buy one? In short, definitely. There are many more reliable daily beaters that will serve their purpose as well as this one. I think of this watch as a slightly more wearable version of the F91, with identical functionality but with improved looks. Whilst the black version will likely retain the label of dad watch for many more years, the A158W, however, is just a cool retro digital watch that can certainly add to your style. Now, I think this is a cool watch, but what about you? When it comes to the wall of watches, where do you want to put this thing? Is it absolute garbage? Uncool, cool, or ice cold? You're in control. Let me know in the comments section which area this should be placed in, as well as why. And you can also get a second vote by voting in the iCard above as well. At the moment, we've got MVMT watches there in the garbage section, but to be fair, I think for 20 quid, this offers more than them. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Tune into the next watch video to see where this got placed, and I'll see you in the next one.